the god news youtube channel is what you watching welcome aboard welcome aboard now we talking boxing and talking at about to be of dimitri bevo well at about to be of says he needs to do more training on his skills as a boxer at about to be of just kept things uh predictably simple when he was asked uh, to describe dimitri bevo in three words he said he's a boxer a good boxer and he's my challenge the wbc wbo and iba flight heavyweight champion told queensberry i don't know he expanded slightly when asked if he expects bevo the wba title holder to provide him with the toughest test of his career when they collide in saudi arabia on october 12th I already had two fights before undisputed for unification fights and uh, those guys were good too. We'll see what happens with this guy implying Dimitri Bivo. The eagerly anticipated fight is being widely portrayed as a clash between beauty and the beast or the boxing skills of Bivo. 23 fights, no losses, 12 KOs against the raw power and strength of uh, uh, but a BF uh, 20 fights, no losses, 20 KOs. What a record! Wow, 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 wow. That is indeed raw power and uh, strength. The assumptions are made by those who concentrate on highlight videos of uh, but a BF brutalizing his opponents at close quarters. The 300 amateur fights he had at uh, the very highest level and the years spent in the Russian amateur system are overshadowed by videos of him strengthening his uh, forearms and uh, wrists by spinning and catching uh, heavy barbells. Those who have shared the ring with uh, Batibiev have a very different interpretation of his skills. Yes, he is a fearsome fighter, but he wouldn't have accomplished everything that uh, he has if he were not also a masterful boxer who has spent years perfecting his uh, particular craft. But ABF is a man of few words, but despite the language barrier and his tongue being firmly in his cheek, it, was, uh, it wasn't difficult to understand uh, his true thoughts when he was asked if he gets frustrated by people underestimating his boxing ability. I feel like in the boxing gym or when you do some job you do the job and feel like there is a space to do better i feel always like this i need to do more training on my skills as a boxer he said i will do i will try to be a good boxer it is good because my goal is to be a good boxer one day and it means uh, i'm not there yet i need to do hard training because i'm not there i am not uh, a good boxer yet I will be a good boxer if I do hard training, not for Bivo or someone else. But BF is uh, 20 professional fights have been uh, spread over 11 injury plagued years, and at uh, the age of uh, 39, many have wondered whether beating Bivo and finally becoming the undisputed uh, light heavyweight champion would uh, provide the perfect uh, cut and call to an outstanding career he believes that although beating bivo would complete one mission there may still be other challenges waiting for him for this category i think this is the main goal he said we'll see afterwards challenges maybe different categories go up we'll see i'm not focused on those things that is at a but a beef and uh, he's a guy that has uh, little words uh, to say i think he uses uh, he uses his uh, uh uh wrists to 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 speak for for him uh the knuckles do speak for him uh the arms do speak for him and uh you understand uh why he doesn't want to talk a lot and uh, uh he has a wonderful record uh, 20 professional fights 20 uh knockouts uh, to his name he's never been in a fight and uh, in a professional fight and uh, they went all the 12 rounds and uh you see he's a guy that 
doesn't read so much into what people say. And uh, for the people that do underestimate his boxing skills, he's uh, that guy that uh, acknowledges that uh, he's not uh, the perfect boxer that uh, he likes to be. He still has a lot of work to do, especially in the gym, to uh, improve as a boxer. But make no mistake, this guy is a very good boxer. And whatever he does in the squared circle is uh, very much calculated. He's not a guy that does things just out of the blue. He's been in various, various, many amateur fights, over 300. And uh, he comes from that eastern part of Europe where there are technicians in the ring, uh, so many, just like Dimitri Bivo. So you're thinking, and... Uh, it's for all to believe. You have to watch his fights again and again to understand that this guy is a masterful boxer. And uh, this is something that uh, Dimitri Bivo knows. Uh, Bivo was talking about uh, earlier on. Uh, he was talking about about uh, between him and uh, Atabate Biv and he was saying that, uh, uh, well, uh, so many people don't want to acknowledge that this guy is a good boxer. That is Bivo talking about uh, at about BF. And uh, for him, uh, Bivo, he knows very well that the guy does set up traps. Uh, he does things in a very technical way in that squared circle. And uh, for you to go in there and underestimate his boxing ability, you'll be doing a very, very a big mistake. So uh, we'll be waiting for this bout and we'll be seeing how it will pan out but it will be a very good fight uh some uh, uh, boxers or former boxers have come out to give out their predictions of what uh, the, the result will be and uh, i've heard of roy jones jr a certain video that i'll be making uh later on i've uh, had uh, alexander yusuk both these guys have given the nod to Dimitri Bivo and uh, various other people have been coming out and uh, are giving the nod to Atabate Biev, but who will be victorious come October 12th? Do place your comment in the comment section below. I sign out. Peace.